G'day, I'm Matt Dunning and welcome to YouGolf, the home of Golf Tripper. Before we get started, here's a bit of info about how the site works. We're going to be broadcasting a new golfing show, exclusively here on YouGolf. Down my left hand side is where you can view pics and vids sent in by you guys. The archive is where you can catch up on any past episodes you may have missed. You can post comments and get into discussions with other players about any topics you like and I will be posting weekly conversations and rundowns on how I played each week. So I bet you're thinking this is going to be just another run of the mill golf show. Well that's just not the case. Sure we're going to talk to the biggest names in golf, check out resorts and courses, get tips and discuss the latest equipment. But then there is the other side of the show. How to gamble on the golf course, celebrity golf battles, one of my favourite segments, what pisses you off about golf. The locker room great debate, and that's just the tip of the iceberg, my friends. That's right, it's competition time. For a chance for you and a mate to stay at the majestic Magenta Shores Golf Resort, with buffet breakfast included, and around with me, simply get a friend to join the YouGolf network. All you have to do is drop a comment on the site of the best course you've ever played. Extra points will be awarded if you send in a pick as well. So sit back, relax, grab a beer, and enjoy a segment we like to call Golf Tripper. Hi, I'm Craig Parry. When are we watching? What makes a great golf weekend? Is it the games? Is it the guys? The grub? The gambling? Is it the grog? The giggles? The guts? Or the glory? Want to find out? I'm Dicko, and you're watching Golf Tripper. This week on Golf Tripper, me and the lads are planning a little bit of an epic road trip up the coast. Now, we could drive ourselves, but where's the fun in that? So we've hired a big white bus with a bus driver. It's going to be like a school excursion. Come on, you lot, let's get this show on the road. the Skylark and off we went on our merry way a fabulous group of random golfers oh, and some a bit too random for us not now Brian next time hey settle down children we've still got to pick up our special guest it's none other than Wallabies prop Matt Dunning and his mate Cleno Oh, it looks like they've started early as well. Well, she don't give a damn. She ain't grabbed by Uncle Sam. She still hooks the goddamn cowboys anyway. The testosterone was running high on this bus, so we decided to take a little detour so the lads could work off some of that energy before we played golf. Hey, Mussolini. We're here at Paintball Pete's. That's right, we're gonna play paintball. So look, uh, the guys, we're, we're all togged up. Well, in your experience, does the fat bloke normally get picked on? No, they don't, because they're the ones not running around like the maniac and running and sliding everywhere. They're the ones that are just using the big trees up the back, and no, uh, they just go through the gap and get the flag, the glory, and the chicks. Guns jump. Oh, no, he's not. No, I was going to join the army, but I've got flat feet, and I'm a coward. Ah, oh, who shot Dunning in the back? Boys, we're pinned down. We need a decoy. Right, get out there. No, I've got a better idea. Hold on, that's my motorised golf cart. Steady on. It's kind of fun, but dangerous too. Hang on, you idiots. I'm on your side. Friendly fire, eh? 
doesn't feel very friendly. It was a really good idea getting a bus driver, but we've had a little problem with Frank. Frank has unfortunately passed away. I'm David Ledbetter and you're watching Golf Tripper. After a quick pit stop to get the paint out of my ears, we finally arrived at our first golf destination, the majestic Magenta Shores. Located just north of the entrance and designed by Ross Watson, it's 6,305 metres long and frankly, it's a rock star. Brilliant, glamorous and at times, very dangerous. And what's it going to cost you to play this breathtaking golf course? Well, if you stay here, $99 a round. But get on the website because they do have open days. If you play golf, you've got to play here. Food's not bad as well. First round at the fantastic Magenta Shores Golf Club. One of my favourite places to play golf in Australia. Lads are having a bit of a warm up. How's your golf going, mate? You feeling confident? You know this is a monster of a course. This is a monster of a course. It's going to be a tough three days. Here he is, the housewife's favourite, Braids. Excited to be back, mate? Very excited, very excited. Haven't played here before, so quietly confident as always. Matt Donning, one of the greatest Wallaby players I've ever played golf with. Uh, you excited about this? You haven't played with many Wallabies, have you? Can I smell beer? Yeah, we can't play golf without beer, that's my rule, so I've had a few warm-ups here. How many? Yeah, a bit more than four, but less than twenty. What's the par for this? What's the par for this course, beer wine? Well, I think you've got to have a minimum four or five or nine. So yeah, it's better. A few of our lads are here on the putting green. Let's check what the stimp is doing, shall we? Now who's that? Looks like Camilla. That's Camilla Parker Bowles, not Camilla Vajegas. Just to let you know, you know, loudmouth do men's shirts as well as lady shirts, don't you? They do. I thought the pink was the lady shirt, did okay? Of course, it wouldn't be a golf trip without the gambling. Big wuss, he's our bookie, and he set the odds good and early. Now, where am I? Ah, yes, $5 of complete mediocrity. Off we go. Two holes in, and I've already lost three balls. That's not good, is it? Tell me my suit don't suit me no more. Tell me my stars are too half the floor. 26 balls lost all day um, amongst eight blokes. Uh, that's a lot of golf balls for one course. No kidding, wuss. I had to go back to the pro shop after nine holes for more balls. Oh, the shame of it. Yeah. Eight holes in, four slits, three lost balls. Not having a good day, tough course. Quickie, get your ass in the gear this week, I've got some money on you. I had $10 on young Braids to win. I wonder how he's getting on. I really struggled off the back plates today with the distance. How good are these things? I can find out how far the beer cart is away. 200, 190, 180, two, one. It's tough, it makes you think, but when you get it right, it's just exhilarating. Will it go all the way? It's gonna get there. It drops for a solid nine. There's no way you would have raked that bunker if you hadn't have been watching. No way on earth. The group I played with, okay, a couple of good blokes in the other cart, uh, Braids and, and Wuss. But I had to share a cart with Dicko, so it was just shit. You know, I'd listened to all his shit all day. All we did was talk about his game. We drove to his ball first. Uh, wouldn't look for anyone else's ball. But, you know, he played well, so I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> you were disappointed? I thought we were getting Matt Gitto. House rocking, lit locking in your long black stocking. There'll be no knocking. There were birdies and, of course, turkeys. Come on, Braids, pull your socks up. Has anyone seen my automated golf cart? Ah, betrayed again. Now, if you want to stay and play at Magenta Shores like we did, there's a couple of options. You can take the three bedroom apartments for about 350 bucks a night, or if there's only a couple of you, the studio apartments for $179 a night. 
And how is this for a luxurious pool? Or is it a duck pond? Okay. Meanwhile, back in Never Never Land, where blokes never never want to grow up, it looks like I'm never never going to get my golf cart back. Here we have the Great Woos. After a great day of golf, too much to drink, he's beached himself at the resort. The boys are very concerned for his safety. Not all the boys. Hi, I'm Fred Couples, and you're watching Golf Tripper. After your strenuous round of golf, you might fancy a spot of fine dining at Magenta Shores Barrett's Restaurant. Or if you fancy something a little more blokey, how about the self-cooked barbecue? However, we had other ideas. Where's Dunning? <laughs> hey boys, sorry I'm late. I had to put on my love kit. <laughs> I know you blokes think I've brought nothing to the trip. No. But I've actually organised a great night for us tonight. A restaurant called Lazotte's in Kingcumber. Kingcumber? He's miles away, mate. How are we going to get there? Just get a cab. A cab? There's eight of us. You've got to hand it to Matt Dunning. He's not just a punch drunk 150 kilo meathead. He's a dead set party starter. Ah, oh, sorry mate, over 18s only. Yes, you stay at home and amuse yourself. We're having big boys fun. By which I mean a stretch hummer, an 80s mixtape and a load of drunk blokes. The right stuff. I'm so excited! Our wives will be so proud of us. If music is indeed the food of love, we were about to fill our boots. We are at Lazotte's, the Central Coast's premier venue for meaty guitar licks and tasty meals. And travelling Canadian bluesman Wolf Mail was tearing it up just for us. And there you have it, another night on the blues with Matt Dunning. Oh dear. Okay, Matt, put the girls back in the restaurant and get in the Hummer. You're watching Gold Tripper.